Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna. I'm your host, Harry Simu, and this is our preview for the Arsenal versus Manchester City game this coming Sunday, our opening Premier League fixture. Oh, I like that sound effect. That's a new one. Might have to start using that one in the future. Now, looking ahead to the Premier League game on Sunday afternoon against the mighty Manchester City, the Premier League champions. They show no signs of rustiness in their community shield win over Chelsea last weekend. So there's no doubt we've got a big Big challenge on our hands. Um, so I'm going to start with the goalkeeper. It's it's a toss-up, I suppose, between Petr Cech and Bernd Leno. In my opinion, Arsene Wenger is going to stick with Petr Cech. I think he's... Sh- uh, Arsene Wenger. Oh, my God. What have I done? <laughs> That's what happens when you say the same name for 22 years. It's not easy to just drop it, you know. Arsene will haunt me forever. As I was saying, I expect Unai Emery to go with Petr Cech. I think he's looked um, very sharp in pre-season. He looks physically in a lot better condition. Um, As as Lee Mark Judges mentioned on this week's podcast, you know, it'll be interesting to see how Petr Cech gets on with some real competition behind him. I think he's going to fight for his place. I think he's going to prove some of his doubters wrong. And I expect him to start the season as our number one goalkeeper. Moving on to the back four, because it looks like that is what Unai Emery is going to go with. That's what he's been with in preseason. That's what he's used throughout his career um, up until this point. It looks like Hector Bellerin will start at right back. The centre-back pairing will most likely be Skodran Mustafi and Sogradis Pavastathobulos. Um, that is what preseason tells me. I guess if Callum Chambers is to move on, then that rules him out. And I don't think that either of those two would be replaced or displaced, I should say, by Mavropanos or indeed Rob Holding. So I expect those two to start at centre-back. Now the question mark comes at left-back where Sead Kolasinac has been ruled out for eight to 10 weeks. That is a massive blow because Nacho Monreal has returned from the World Cup with a slight knee problem. It's nothing serious, we're being told by the club. However, he will be short for Sunday's opener. So it looks as though Ainsley Maitland-Niles may fill in at left back. He showed last season that he can do the job, but it's not his natural position. And I wouldn't like to see him stuck there um, and his development hampered by the fact that he has to play way, way out of position for a long period of time. Moving on to the midfield. Now that is where Unai Emery has some real decisions to make, assuming he's going to play the 4-2-3-1 formation that we've seen throughout pre-season bar the Lazio game. I'm guessing that that Granit Xhaka will be the first man on his team sheet. He gave him the captain's armband the other night. He's back. He's physically ready um, after returning from the World Cup. He's trained well from what we've read, and it looks as though he's the only one that's guaranteed to start in that midfield. Um, Alongside him now, this is where the problem occurs because uh, normally, you know, you'd throw Lucas Torreira straight in there, but we know he returned from the World Cup late. We know he hasn't trained much and we're not sure what his fitness levels are like. Starting him against Manchester City this Sunday may be a bit of a risk. Um, And so I guess Matteo Guendouzi is in with a real shout of getting his Premier League debut. So that one will be interesting. Of course, Mohamed Elneny is in the frame as well. So Emery has some options there. It'll be interesting to see which one he goes with. I would probably go with uh, Torreira myself, uh, assuming he's at least sort of 70% fit. I would start him in the middle of the park with Granite Shaka. Give us that bit of bite that we need, especially when playing a team with with. The, the types of players that Manchester City have, the Bernardo Silvers, the David Silvers, you know, people like that. Um, those players that like to play in between the lines. Having two sort of tough midfield players could do us the world of good and will give us a, the kind of bite that we haven't seen in Arsenal for many, many years. Then moving on to that three behind the lone striker. This is tough because we'll, we know that Mesut Ozil will most likely start. We know that Henrik Mkhitaryan will probably start based on what we've seen from the preseason friendlies. It's said that he's really impressed Emery since his arrival at the club. 
then you've got the issue now. Does does Aubameyang play? Does Lacazette play? Do they both play? Who is going to be the, the centre forward? I guess if I had to try and second guess the boss, I would say that Lacazette will be the main striker with Aubameyang operating from the left-hand side. Now, I think that can work in a lot of games and I think that will be effective in a lot of games. But is this the game to try it? Manchester City, whose fullbacks love to get forward. You know, will Aubameyang track back and, and help out the makeshift left back? Um, because we don't have a left back fit. So that's going to be the case. Will Aubameyang do what's necessary from a defensive point of view? I'm not so sure. Is this the time to experiment? I don't know. Maybe I'd play it safe. Maybe I'd go with with an Alex Iwobi um, and, and, you know, tighten up that midfield a little bit and sort of make the decision between Aubameyang and Lacazette. So to summarise, my starting 11 would be as follows for this Sunday's game. It would be Petr Cech in goal, Bayerin, Mustafi, Sogradis and Maitland-Niles across the back line, a midfield pairing of Xhaka and Torreira. Then in front of them would be Henrik Mkhitaryan, Mesut Ozil and Alex Iwobi for me. I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. I couldn't go with Aubameyang and Lacazette in this game. So Aubameyang would be my centre forward um, and that would be my starting eleven. And that's because of the reasons I mentioned. I'm worried about our... Uh, defensive balance if Aubameyang operates from the left-hand side. I can't see um, him and Lacazette both playing together. I just can't see it. I think it would be foolish. Um, In terms of my prediction, I'm going to go for a Manchester City win. Now, I'm not being negative. I just can't see how we're going to get anywhere near a side as accomplished um, and as as, as settled and, and strong as Manchester City are at this moment in time. Yes, they've had some players go to the World Cup. Yes, some of their fitness levels are not quite there, but they have a vast array of talent within that squad and anyone that comes in is more than capable of doing the job. Another reason I'm concerned is, obviously, since Unai Emery's arrival, you can see based on the friendlies that we've tried to implement a pressing game and I'm not entirely convinced that the team have bought into that yet, that the team understand that game plan just yet. We saw instances in the Chelsea friendly where our front three were pressing and then it wasn't being followed up by the next three. And when you press, you need to do it in waves. You need to do it as a unit. And I don't think Arsenal are quite there yet in terms of their education around this style of play. So I fear that Manchester City will will play the ball around us and, and Manchester City could well end up playing us off the park this Sunday. Let us know your predictions for Sunday's game and tweet us the 11 that you'd go with at Chronicles underscore AFC. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to review. That always helps us in the charts, of course. Don't forget, you can also become a Chronicles of Aguna patron. You can watch the video on our pinned tweet for more information about what that entails and and how you go about doing that. We've got some excellent guests coming up for you in the next couple of weeks. So you'll want to be on board for these special shows we've got just around the corner.